Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You are locked in at the right place and at the right time. I'm so excited to be making this video for you, sharing some of my favorite head wrap styles. I can't wait to see you guys rock yours and try something new with your hair because that's what life's all about, experimenting, trying different things. So I hope you guys enjoy it and if you do, do any of these styles please do hashtag Nia's head wrap tutorial as I'd love to see and repost some of you make sure you tag me as well so that I can see you guys but yeah I can't wait and get comfortable because I'm very excited for this one So this head wrap is definitely one of my favorites as you get to still see your curls and you're not hiding them completely. So all you do is just take a small section in the middle and tie it up. This will be able to create the different dimensions and then you get the head wrap, put it behind you and you do one loose knot. Make sure that it's loose so that you don't apply too much pressure on your curls and then you can either swirl the head wrap around or you can do a bow, whatever you prefer or you can even wrap it around at the bottom. This was one of my favorite and my most clutch styles that I did a few months after I cut my hair and I love it because of how soft the fabric is from Bumble and Bumble and just the type of fabric it is you can really work with it and do a lot of different styles so because it's in the shape of a square I simply fold one corner in like a triangle and then from there I take that bottom piece and just put it at the back of my head and then I do a knot. Again, don't do it too tight. You will be left with three pieces of fabric from the knot. So I simply take the second one on whichever side and then do another bow and you're all good to go. is one of my favorite hairstyles in the summer because you take your bangs out of your face and you let your skin breathe and it's just such a great way of just trying something different and just looking really divine so all I did was I took my silk fabric and I just wrapped it around but I made sure that the knot would be facing the back this way it looks a lot neater and you can wrap your hair around more than twice and then I did a really tight knot at the back and if you want to jazz it up you can bring some of your baby hairs to the front I'm not really too fast on having perfect baby hairs because they never turn out perfect so I simply just put a little bit of edge control smooth it out with a toothbrush and then I bring some of the curls to the front just to give that natural look to the hairstyle so this one is a little bit similar to the one that I did earlier but with this one I left the hair at the back out and this just gives a really chilled look to it it's great if you're on a road trip or you're on an adventure and you're just like oh I need to put my hair up because your neck is sweating and doing too much so this one is just really great and simple and I really like this one this wrap is from airy but again I will put all the wrap information in the description box but some of them might not be available as some of them are really old. So just letting you guys know. But if you find some with similar shapes, then you can do the same styles with them. If you have longer hair, then I'm sure it will look even more fabulous. But because I still have some baby curls, um, I had to really fiddle around with this one and uh, bring some curls to the back and just even it out so that it didn't look like there was too much hair at the front. So all I did for this one was I put the wrap at the back of my head and then made a knot and then wrapped it round as I didn't want it to look too dramatic with a knot or a bow but again you can totally do that if you want to and because my hair is still short I had to give an illusion that I had more hair at the back than I actually did so I tied a smaller bun and then I took the curls that were on the outside tucked them in just so that it wasn't all tied up and then I did have to play around with the curls just to really make sure that it had a nice shape that looked and flowed. <laughs> So 
So I thought I'd save the best until last as some of you have been asking me for so long how I do this wrap and now you finally have it guys. This is one of my favourite looks just because I really feel divine in it, I feel like a queen and it took a while to master as sometimes head wraps can be really messy especially if you don't know what you're doing but it's all about patience with all of these styles so don't stress if you can't get it right the first time but you'll find your own way to match you and fit your frame and yeah I hope you guys like this one just as much as I do. I got this head wrap from Bali and I was looking for a head wrap in a market for so long but they were all just way too vibrant for me. Then I found this one and it was perfect because I love the browns. But anyway, how you do it is... <laughs> so the fabric is a square so I folded it in half and then I was left with a rectangle and all I did was again I took the wrap to the back of my hair and then I tipped my hair down slightly, did a knot then I was left with two pieces. The trick of this wrap is adding texture. As you guys can see, I have these simple knots that I did and this gives an illusion that there's more fabric and more hair than there actually is. So all I did was I did two twists and then I wrapped them in the opposite direction. When I got to the back and they met with each other, I did a knot, folded them in, and that's literally it. <laughs> So there you go guys, those are some of my favourite head wrap styles, again if you use them please make sure you use the hashtag and show me all of the different ones you've tried, I'd love to see and yeah I'll see you guys soon, make sure you subscribe and yeah I'll see you guys soon, <laughs> bye!